look at the numbers from last year, the official numbers say a little more than two and a half million children experienced homelessness last year. Now we all know that number is being undercounted. So when you think about that two and a half million children, that's sort of the official number. So we know it's much, much higher. Family Promise first and foremost has always been about families. We do this with the wonderful support of organizations, churches, volunteers, wrapping their arms of support around the whole family. The model is housing first. So we work on trying to find housing before we work on the barriers that the client may have. The construction of new buildings, right? The, the economic growth is really, really amazing. There are a lot of people who are going to struggle to stay in their homes because the rents are going to go up. The vacancy rate countywide is less than 3%, so if someone becomes homeless, it's really tough. Sometimes the biggest challenge is actually <sighs> helping people find housing because of their background sometimes, if you may have like a felony or if you, do, if you don't have good credit. Here at Family Promise, the family unit gets to stay together. But if they go to a traditional shelter, the men go to one shelter, the women go to the other shelter. So you get kids torn apart, families torn apart. We want to keep as much normal for the children and the family as, as possible. So we want to come in and have a nice couch and, a, and you know, and a TV and a dining room table that they can still have meals together. And once we get them out, we're able to um, work on those barriers such as saving, such as working off bad debt, such as case management, trying to find stable jobs or jobs that's more profitable so that they'll be able to afford rent once we walk away. Social workers help navigate that system and they know all of the invisible walls that our families are going to run into. So our aftercare program is once a family moves out into permanent housing, uh, we check on them like each month because we want to ensure once they moved on in the first month, we want to make sure that they're still being on the right track. When we're done helping with the assistance, they're in a place where they're stably housed and they're able to continue their rent and all their payments on their own. We had a family that came through our emergency shelter program, then went into transitional housing, and they worked very hard. They paid off an eviction and moved into their place and still left here with $10,000 in their savings. I believe in Wake County today to afford a two-bedroom apartment, you have to work at least two and a half jobs that pay around minimum wage. With our new programs, we served the total of 120 families last year, which was our highest year. Uh, last year, all the families that went through our transitional housing program and moved into permanent housing, we had a 100% success rate. The program is incredibly successful. We have a huge volunteer base and a very active volunteer base and a very generous volunteer base. We do have a lot of work that needs to be done in our facilities and in our apartment buildings. So if you do any repair work, any painting, anything along those lines, we could definitely use you as a volunteer. We are a small nonprofit. I think any challenge for a small nonprofit is, is um, you know, financial resources. Our real struggle so far is figuring out how to get the right blend of financial and volunteer support to enable us to expand the number of families we can help. We could be supporting a much greater number of families who need not just the financial assistance that we can bring them, but also the ongoing support that we can bring them. This organization really owes a debt to the founders. And uh, two of those founders were uh, George and Mary Beth Deaton. 
They moved here in 73, and they were members of the Highland United Methodist Church. So George and several other founding members of Family Promise took it upon themselves to do it. Our hardest thing was raising money. It was really tough, but we really quite good at it. Without people like George, this would have never happened. And we're so thankful to what he did for us that we started a annual volunteer appreciation award named after the Deatons. So that every year in perpetuity for our organization, we remember where we came from. We loved our time, our, and we, we, we loved it, and we enjoyed it, and you can tell. Best wishes for another 30 years. We just love celebrating success stories here. I really feel like we're making a difference here at Family Promise. Family Promise work. The program, the model works. I just want people to step up and help everyone else in the community. So come check us out because the people here really have some great resources and you will not regret it.